The Flow Dynamics FFX 1234YF comes complete with the following items stored in the front pocket of the machine. The blue low side and the red high side vehicle service hoses with 1234YF service couplers. The black power cord. A one pound calibration check weight. One short yellow refrigerant transfer hose and a duct temperature probe. Remove the packing material. Remove the black backside cover to the machine by unscrewing the two knobs on either side of the back cover. Lift off the back cover from the machine. Loosen the black tank strap. Remove the shipping protection foam and replace the tank on the machine scale and secure the black tank strap. Attach the temperature probe to the RCA port. Plug into an appropriate electrical outlet. If using an extension cord, it must be properly rated. Press the main power button. Upon startup, the machine will zero out the pressure transducers and automatically purge any excess air in the tank. Press the tank refill icon. Press the green arrow. Press the green arrow for refrigerant identification. Following the instructions on the screen, connect the short yellow refrigerant transfer hose to the virgin tank. This will be a reverse thread. Couple the red service hose quick coupler to the short yellow transfer hose and open the coupler valve. Open the tank valve on the top of the virgin refrigerant tank. Press the green arrow for refrigerant identification. When purity is confirmed, turn the virgin tank upside down as shown on the screen where the tank valve is on the bottom. Press the green arrow. This is liquid tank fill. When the tank fill procedure is complete, press the green arrow. Press the recover icon. Press the green arrow. The unit will automatically go into the refrigerant identification mode. Press the green arrow. Connect the blue side coupler on the blue low side service hose to the low side R1234YF port on the vehicle and open the blue coupler valve. Press the green arrow. Once the refrigerant identification process completes and passes, press the green arrow. Connect the red service hose to the red high side service coupler to the high side port on the vehicle and open the valve. And press the green arrow button. The unit will recover the refrigerant into the car. Please allow the recovery process to complete. Once the refrigerant is recovered, the unit will automatically drain any refrigerant oil that has been recovered. Check the oil recovery bottle and note how much oil has been recovered, if any. Enter the amount of the recovered oil, if any, into the touchscreen keypad and press the green arrow. Press the green arrow when complete. Press the vacuum icon and the green arrow to continue. Enter the vacuum time in minutes on the touchscreen keypad and press the green arrow. Follow the instructions on the screen and press the green arrow. Press the green arrow when complete. Press the charge icon and then press the green arrow. If the vehicle has a high voltage compressor, check the green arrow. If it does not, press the red NO symbol. Follow the directions on the screen and press the green arrow. Select which port you would like to charge through, both ports, high side or low side. Press the green arrow. Enter the amount you want to charge into the vehicle on the touch screen keypad. Press the green arrow. First, the unit will check and purge any air that is in the tank. Next, it will pull a 5-minute vacuum, followed by a 5-minute vacuum leak test. The unit will count down from 10 minutes during this process. Finally, the unit will continue by charging 15% of the total refrigerant charge into the vehicle.
follow the instructions on the screen and perform an interior leak check in the passenger compartment of the vehicle. Answer the questions by pressing the green arrow. Answer the questions on the screen by pressing the no symbol. When the charge is complete, the machine will ask if you would like to go to car health check. Press the green arrow. With the red and blue service hoses connected to the vehicle and open, insert the duct temperature probe into the center AC duct of the vehicle. The machine reminds you to start the car. Start the vehicle and run the AC on max setting with low fan speed. The display shows the high and low side pressure readings and the duct probe temperature. Press the print icon on the bottom of the screen and the printer will print out the data on the screen. After charging is complete or running a car health check, the hose clearing sequence is as follows. The machine will tell you to close the high side red service coupler. The machine reminds you to start the car. Start the vehicle and the remaining liquid refrigerant in the hoses will be drawn into the vehicle. Disconnect the high and low side service hoses. The machine displays a reminder to inject the necessary amount of oil with an external oil injector tool. Press the green arrow button. Press the full cycle icon. Press the green arrow. Enter the vacuum time in minutes and press the green arrow. Select which ports you would like to charge from, both ports, the high side or the low side. Then press the green arrow. Enter the charge amount and press the green arrow. Then press the no symbol. To get into the machine upkeep menu, press the small settings icon on the bottom right side of the screen. Press the settings icons shown on the left side of the display. Select the language setup function icon. Select the default language. Select the measurement icon and select your preferred setting. Select the tank icon and follow the instructions on the screen. Select the shop information entry icon and enter the shop name, address, and phone number. Select the date function and enter the current date and time. Press the Car Health Gauge icon. With the red and blue service hoses connected to the vehicle and open, insert the duct temperature probe into the center AC duct of the vehicle. The machine reminds you to start the car. Start the vehicle and run the AC on max setting with low fan speed. The display shows the high and low side pressure readings and the duct probe temperature. Press the print icon on the bottom of the screen and the printer will print out the data on the screen. Press the small settings icon on the bottom of the screen. Press the maintenance icon on the right side of the display. Press the filter change icon. Then press the green arrow. The machine will display the filter part number FLOX5. Press the green arrow. The machine will prompt you to close the red tank liquid valve on the top of the recycle tank. Press the green arrow on the screen. Close the red liquid tank valve, unstrap the blue filter, and stand it upright. Once the refrigerant is 100% recovered from the filter, replace the filter with new part number FLOX5. Scale maintenance can be done by pressing the tank maintenance icon. Air purge can be done by initiating and pressing the air purge icon.
Press the charge icon and then the green arrow. Press the green check when asked if the vehicle utilizes a high voltage compressor. Connect the service hoses to the flush ports on the side of the machine. Open the service couplers. The blue low side coupler fits on the bottom flush port and the red high side coupler fits on the top flush port. Open the couplers. Press the green arrow. When the machine prompts you, disconnect the service hoses for the flush ports. Press the green arrow. Connect the low side and high side service hoses to the vehicle and open the couplers. Press the green arrow. Select the charging ports, both ports, high side or low side. Enter the amount you want to charge into the vehicle on the touch screen keypad. Press the green arrow. First the unit will check and purge any air that is in the tank. Next it will pull a 5 minute vacuum followed by a 5 minute vacuum leak test. The unit will count down from 10 minutes during this process. Finally, the unit will continue by charging 15% of the total refrigerant charge into the vehicle. Perform an interior leak check on the passenger compartment of the vehicle following the instructions on the screen. Select the green check mark. Answer the questions on the screen by pressing the no symbol. When the charge is complete, the machine will ask if you would like to go to car health check. Press the green arrow. With the red and blue service hoses connected to the vehicle and open, insert the duct temperature probe into the center AC duct of the vehicle. The machine reminds you to start the car. Start the vehicle and run the AC on max setting with low fan speed. The display shows the high and low side pressure readings and the duct probe temperature. Press the print icon on the bottom of the screen and the printer will print out the data on the screen. After charging is complete or running a car health check, the hose clearing sequence is as follows. The machine will tell you to close the high side red service coupler. The machine reminds you to start the car. Start the vehicle and the remaining liquid refrigerant in the hoses will be drawn into the vehicle. Disconnect the high and low side service hoses. The machine displays a reminder to inject the necessary amount of oil with an external oil injector tool. Press the green arrow button.